you see the pitcher Schaefer doing his job, heading over to first base anytime that the ball is hit to the right side. The pitcher should start heading over there immediately and only stop when he's called off. He's got to cover first base. Got a flip flop in our lineup here, partner. Quill in Austria is the batter. Skrovic is in the on deck circle, so. They have flip flop the batting order a little bit or they're batting out of order one or the other. <laughs> and a shot past the diving Marzika into left field for a base hit. So Austria with the first hit of the game for the Wildcats and they have got a one out base runner here. That's good coaching right there. Put Austria up. Fell down. He's able to jump on it. So we've got Bobcats have not been retired in order in this game. And Quill and Austria will be the batter. Singled with one out in the second, but was left on base. The Wildcats have stranded three today, and that one's in there for a strike. Wildcat third baseman after looking down at third will dick back in. And a snap throw to first. Longo will dive back in. Right hander sets the pitch. Foul back over top. In fact, it caught a piece of the roof and ricochets back out onto the field. No balls and two strikes now on Quill and Austria. 142. Stands deep in the box. And a snap throw first. I got a question for you, former coach. Yes, sir. Fans even may be able to tell on our mics out on the field. Well, listen right here. See if you hear a coach yell three numbers. No, I've, I was too busy talking. That's okay. Yes, it is the Grove City coaching staff. There's a chopper left side of the infield. Slow roller for Marzika, who has no play. So an infield single by Austria, his second hit of the game, who hasn't thrown a pitch in about a half an hour, if not longer. And the first one is chopped to third. Knocked down, picked up, and thrown out by Austria over at third base. And there's one down here in the top of the fifth inning. Well, and you mentioned it, hadn't thrown a pitch in over 30 minutes, but Grove City came to the plate treating that like it's a three to two ball game. You know, you might think they're going to go up there and take a pitch. No, you know, let's swing the bats, see if we can get back in this game. But more. Man, this has just been a, let's say, an interesting regional final here in the last couple of days. It took over, and here we are at noon at Cuyahoga <laughs> Community College. So, no question, but an interesting series of events since last Friday, or since a couple of days ago. Here's Josh Williams, the pitcher for St. Francis, facing the designated hitter, Quillen Austria. Well, on top of all that rain, I guess we're saying uh, a lot of boats were changed midstream, huh? <laughs> Quite true, especially if you were trying to get on I-90. <laughs> yes. Coming out of Cleveland on Friday night. 2-0 now on Austria. Well, we're happy to keep the turnpike in business with the extra tolls that have been uh, <laughs> paid by the Northwest Ohio faithful heading over here. Williams gets a strike over two and one now. And on a pitcher, I, got, I have to imagine you have to gear up for your start and then relax and then gear back up again. That's got to be difficult on guys like Williams. Well, that, that's a good point. There's a ball hit out in the center field. Austria is on with a single. One of the things, though, that Williams probably could uh, use She's as an okay. advantage. Once again, the run did score, so it is now 4-0, four 4-0. Nothing, four nothing. St. Ignatius here in the third. Yeah, that ball took off towards the foul line, so the runner is very scary. But these guys really pound the baseball. Throw back down to first from the catcher, Wagner. Forces Nito to dive back. Count one and one here on Austria, the designated hitter. This is a very focused St. Ignatius team when it comes to their offense. We talked about their defense, but this offense, very strong. 
a lot of different, they, they use the, the tools that they have. They're, they're a good line drive hitting team, probably not a, pow, you know, a very power hitting team, but they use the hit and run, steal, pressure on the defense, and spray the ball. There they go again. Hit and run, diving attempt by Lankard. He can't come up with it. Nito coming to third, and Austria is on with a double. was thinking double all the way, hit and run. Ball's pulled down the left field line. And with the runner moving at first first base, even with the ball hit in front of him, he's able to cruise into third base easily. Uh, 